So now, sometimes we have to do this with a chain rule. And so in example number two, we're going to use the chain rule uh, with regards to the fundamental theorem of calculus. So what they want us to do is they want us to find, you know, we'll figure out how to spell the word find, they want us to find dy dx of y equals 1 to x squared cosine of t. Now, what makes this problem different and interesting is that we're going to have to apply the chain rule to this. So, we can use u substitution. In other words, what I want to do is I'm going to say d dx on one side and d dx on the other. So then uh, my dy dx would be, which is what they're asking for, is all this stuff here, d dx of the integral from 1 to x squared of cosine of t. Now here's the thing, if I, if I do u substitution, in other words, I let u equal x squared, then u prime is going to have to equal uh, 2x. So this would be the same as d dx of 1 to u of cosine of t. So I'm just going to focus on this uh, green stuff here. Um, oh, I forgot to write the dt. All right, so now if I do that, I get d dx, whoops, d dx of cosine of u, u prime, right? Because technically I'm taking the derivative of something. So, uh, well, I suppose this u prime comes on, the, on afterwards. So like this, whoops, I put that in the wrong section there. This thing right here, 1 to this of dt, um, well, I kind of, I've kind of, let me rewrite it a different way so you guys don't get confused. If I get d dx, okay, if I use my u substitution, now I need to take the derivative with respect to u from 1 to u of cosine of t dt, right? But when I do that, I've got to tack on du dx. So u prime, so let me change my notation here. If I take the derivative of u with respect to x, then I've got du dx, okay? So then this becomes cosine of u, but then I've got to tack on this du dx. Well, then I end up with cosine of x squared times 2x. Now normally what we do is we just toss the chain rule up to the front, and that's what I would get. Now you might say, well, Mr. Adams, how do you justify that? Well, I want to find dy dx. And so that's the same as saying dy du times du dx. And then what happens is, is that the du's cancel. So when I insert this here, I'm really kind of putting the d du on this end as well, okay, of y and all that stuff. And so that's where that comes from. So my final answer, I guess what I'm seeing is this here. Now if you wanted to just kind of create, I wanted to kind of show you where that comes from, but usually right here, if this is, we always tack on the derivative, always, 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 but x, right, if that was the function, if u was x, then u prime just equals 1, and then 1 times anything is itself. But whatever this is here, we always have to tack on this derivative at the end, okay? 
Um, it's just that uh, on the previous examples, uh, the derivative was always 1. Any questions on that?